Brian here for Directus, and in this video, we're gonna cover one of my favorite features inside Directus, permissions and access control. In any data-driven project, like an internal app, CMS, SaaS app, or digital experience, you'll need to control who has access to your data and what they can do with it. Directus makes this super easy for you with granular permissions and rule-based access control. But before we dive in and show you how to configure the roles and permissions, let's cover the three types of roles, public, administrator, and non-administrator. The public role defines what API data is available without authenticating. The administrator role provides total control and unrestricted access to the API and no code app. Non-administrator roles are the middle ground between the public and admin roles. They require authentication to access the app and the API, but you have flexible and powerful control over what data each role can access. So with that out of the way, let's configure our roles and permissions. We'll take a look at the public role to get started. Remember the public role controls what's available without authentication. And for safety, the public role starts with zero permissions. For each collection, you can control access to the standard CRUD operations. Create, read, update, delete, and the handy share operation, which allows you to share a single item within a protected collection. I don't want any of our sensitive data available to the public, so I'm only going to enable read access for our articles collection. And I can also quickly test this just by copying the project URL into a new tab and adding items slash articles to the URL and voila, now my articles are publicly available. And now that we've configured the public role, let's create a new role for our office manager. I'll click the create role button on the roles and permissions page. I'll just call this office manager. I can easily turn off access to the app or I can give full admin rights to this role if needed. Let's say we want our office manager to be able to create and update contacts and manage our product catalog. If you hover over a specific collection, Directus gives you a few nice little shortcuts to add or remove all permissions for that collection. I'll use that shortcut to add permissions for the contacts, product images, and products collection. Maybe our office manager will also need to add Directus system user accounts for new team members. But I don't see the Directus users collection. Well, if that's because it's a system collection and permissions for the system collections are hidden behind a toggle below the standard collections. Directus provides you with some recommended defaults for system collections but you've got full control over system collections as well. I'm going to add create access for the Directus users collection. And now our office manager role will be able to create new users from the app or the API. Now that we've configured our roles, it's time to assign those to our users. Currently each user can only be assigned one role. But a number of community members like you have told us you'd like to assign multiple roles per user. So we added that to our roadmap. Our whole team is feedback driven and works hard to deliver helpful features that the community suggests. There are several ways to assign roles to users. If you're still on the page for the role we just created, you can click the invite users icon on the top right hand and invite users by email. Or if I scroll down a bit, you'll see that there's a table that shows all the users in this particular role. I can add existing users, but in this case, I'm going to create a new user instead. I'll just fill out a few details like name, email, and a password and create this user. Let's log in as this user to make sure all the permissions are working how we want them to. As you can see, this office manager user can now view edit and create new contacts and products. And if I switch over to the users collection, they can also create new users for any new employees or team members. 
Directus also comes with a few other role-based settings that you can use to further control access. If you want to restrict access based on IP, just enter in those allowed IP addresses into the IP access field. The require 2FA field requires users to configure and use multi-factor authentication to get access. There you have it. That's the basic overview of Directus roles and permissions. If you're ready to dive even deeper into use cases for custom permissions and dynamic variables, check out our next video on advanced roles and permissions. And be sure to watch all our other videos on the awesome features within Directus.